Okay, so today we're gonna be working on a steel Magnum backpack blower. Uh, as you can see, uh, it was uh, in bad shape when we got it. Uh, we're gonna go through everything, see what we can fix on it, see if it's repairable. And if it is, we're gonna see if we can make some money on it. That's good. So we just added some degreaser to this, take off some of this grease. Do you still need the other? Another trick that you can do. Did you get down there yet? Yeah. Another trick you can do is oh, after so, this cleans. So. You can rub this with um, automatic transmission fluid to bring back a shine to uh, plastic gets messed up. Rain, bro. There's rain right now. This bottom area is the worst. What, buddy? Yeah, I gotta do that now. Watch some. Don't get wet. Okay, on this unit, um, it's in real bad shape. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna use automatic transmission fluid. It leaves a nice coat and kinda brings back the natural um, shine. shine of the... Um, you can see here, it's so far doing pretty good. takes it a little bit on a rag, wipe it on, sort of brings it back to life. But this unit, it's in pretty bad shape, so I'm hoping we get the best that we can get with it. Cut. So this is what the inside of one of these units look like uh, when we take it apart. Uh, totally in terrible shape. Uh, it was cleaned already. It was this is already cleaned a little bit. Everything down here looked like this. We had to clean it really just to get access to it. Uh, this is what one of the units on the inside looked like after we're done cleaning it up. As you can see, it looks almost new. And right there there is spark is that spark we got there we go does it look, look good here. yep looks good what are we doing next getting everything taken out good compression just gotta get that piece here
I thought that was the um, the thing where you fix the clutch or whatever. Where you, I don't know all the terms yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You Neither always have to do that. Does this come out or? Okay. Pull that fan out. Let me get a look at it. I meant, let me get a look at it when you get it out. Cause it's kind of telling of what the inside of the engine would look like. If someone didn't care for it. Wow, it looks almost new. Yeah, but look at this. Yeah, I know. Is that supposed to be like that? This looks a little clean, but it's not really, they could have replaced it right before they gave up on it. So what is this called right here that's that's not function, functioning properly? It looks like it's supposed to be up against it. So it's just not tight enough then? Right, action. Right now we're just taking apart the unit to see what's wrong with it. Nice. I'm assuming the uh, carburetor's right underneath it. Have spark. I think there's hope in this um, carburetor. Actually, doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it almost looks newish, which is creepy considering how dirty everything else yeah, is. But actually, there was nothing hooked up anywhere. We'll only have to take a peek and see what the hell the story is. Taking the fuel lines off. This, this, yeah. We've got to do it. I thought you meant me to do it. Relieve the pressure. When you open the gas cap, it relieves the pressure. This one has the same, but as you can see, it slides in. Locks tight. Nice. It slides out. I thought that's what you wanted me to do just then. <laughs> Let me. All right. Okay, come down here. See if you can take a peek here. Look how dirty this is. Okay, that's your magneto. And with this piece right here comes in contact. Let me get a view of it. This piece right there comes in contact. Some magnetic field. We can have a credit card situation going on, or less. possibly. I'm gonna try cleaning it up with a little well, sandpaper first. That way, I don't have to take it off the car. There we go. 
just get a good look at it. It does need a bit of cleaning. Well, I did do a little bit in there, but. Now both take the charge, yeah? All right, I was just making sure for me. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna put this guy back together. We cleaned it up a little, little bit. Made it a little shinier. There you go. Better connection. So we're gonna hook the stuff back up. Okay, and this one, bring it in there. Get that down. Remember, there's a little washer right there. Tool. Put this guy back in place. Right there. <laughs> okay. Now. <clears throat> I don't snug it, I just bring it to where it's still loose. Like that. Because I'm gonna have to go and adjust it. Cap it. Nice. I can't believe I can't. There we go. Show them the credit card trick, Frank. Ah, uh, credit card trick. Or Sit. business card, yeah. Yeah, business. You had me saying credit. <laughs> yeah, the magnetos work. Big time working now. All right, let me get this in there. This sets the gap to where you need it, so it's a perfect gap. Give a good spark every time. Business card trick. Got it. Okay, that's done. Got spark. Cleaning carburetor. Gonna change the primer ball. You wanna show us the new primer ball? Okay, come on this side over here. Yes, I'm gonna need my glasses. One of these two. There we go. Okay, so what we're doing now is primer ball. If you can see it right here, it's rotted up, no good. So we're going to unsnap it, disconnect our lines. We have one, it goes from the gas tank in. And when you push this, it sucks the gas and it brings it up here, brings around, goes into the carb. All right, uh, I'm going to try to get this thing out right now. Will you turn it? Uh, it's uh, got little clips in here. Usually if you get one you come clip, around, little clips, if you get one clip, you can, you can get it out. Okay, but the important thing is to make sure you get the right line in the right spot. Okay, so I'm gonna take off this one. Short one goes from the gas tank straight up into here. How are you gonna tell which one is which? One's long, one's short. Ah, nice. There you go. That was good for the viewers. The short one goes to the gas tank. All right. The long one goes to the carburetor. There we go. As you push like this, it sucks it in into the short, brings it in here, fills the bulb, and brings it back out. Okay, now let's see if we can match one of these up. Like we're gonna have to go to store for this. Cut. Huh. So after cleaning everything up, we realized uh, that the carburetor needed to be cleaned up majorly. We cleaned the flywheel on the magneto. Uh, we cleaned the magneto itself, and uh, we're right now about to replace. 
the primer ball take care of a few more things and then we'll be pretty much done so we'll catch up with you when we're done cleaning up the uh, carburetor here we go we're gonna install a new primer ball Please fit. <laughs> So we double checked and the primer ball does fit where it needs to fit. It did take a little bit of jerry rigging, but we got it in there. Uh, what are we doing next here? Uh, I gotta wait for this glue to stop because the bracket it held the throttle cable broke off. Yep. So I made a homemade br uh, throttle cable, put it in there and I used 5200 to secure it. And also a little bit of super glue to hold it in place while that secures it yeah that'll hold it in place so it doesn't fall while the 5200 kicks off so what are we going to do now take a break for a minute yeah we're going to have to stop for a minute but this is a, a marine adhesive it's uh extremely good yeah it works like just about on everything awesome all right see you in a few all right that's where all the 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 fuel lines the fuel lines go um just so you know for the future reference in case you get stuck when you're working on uh the magnum unit we're gonna put the last fuel line in try to get a good angle here Next thing to do would be reconnect the throttle cable. Yeah. Show them that trick we learned. <laughs> I felt dumber than and you could have felt because when I saw it. Yeah. Alright, get everything back together. Put a new line down here. And up here. Cleaned everything inside here all the way around. Now it's time to put it back together. The first thing you want to do is come down underneath. You'll have to grab this and stick it through the hole. Bring it up, line it up. Put a little tab on this side, right here. You're gonna make sure that fits right in there. Like that, like that. Sorry for bouncing around, but. Yeah, it's all good. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Let me see if I can get this tight up here. Okay, what I like to do is I like to just slightly get it hooked in there so I can have room to move it around if necessary. Sure that one's over top of there. This one unit came to us without one here. The one should do pretty good. Right, so I gotta hold this. Get this up in there. Okay. Is that magnetic? Yeah, the one is. That's all he helps. Get that in there. A little screw hole down there. Get the other one over here. Same I can see it from on the camera. Alright, I'm 
gonna pause you for now because it's boring watching screws go in. All right, we're gonna install this. Very simple, line up the bolts, make sure this is in the right spot, get a little tap, and stick it in. it on that. Okay. Action. All right, here we go.